Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Now I have to tell you, sometimes when I go to do these reading videos, I don't really pick up on the energy before I start recording. I just let it come through while I'm shuffling and pulling cards, but this is not one of those readings because I can so strongly pick up the energy between these two souls. It's came through before the recording started. It felt like love and heaviness and grief and adoration and vulnerability and nakedness, like at the soul level, two souls who just see each other through every level and layer of their being. And the interesting thing is what came through is I see you even when I'm not looking at you. And what I got from that is there could be some kind of physical distance between these two individuals in the 3D worlds, or they might not be in communication. They might not be physically looking at each other very frequently in the 3D right now for some reason. I'm getting that for some. A lot of your communication with this person might take place virtually over message, over the phone. But regardless, I feel that... There is a bond here that is so deep and so intense, and yet at the same time, it's bringing with it a lot of grief as well. The name David and also the word tropical came out from the love word scramble. For those of you who are new, this is just a tool I use to channel specific words that will connect with certain individuals. So only take, of course, from those words, but really from these whole readings, only take what resonates with you personally, because I do channel many different people and energies. Of course, I just saw the number 222, which is a very strong alignment number. And I also need to say that this feels like a very spiritual connection as well, beyond the emotional, beyond the physical beyond the mental. So I feel this could be a very ancient soulmates or potentially even a twin flame situation. In fact, I am getting a lot of twin flame energy for some of you from this connection, but of course only you can know for sure. So I will tell you what I see coming up in the cards, but at the end of the day, it's really your intuition that is guiding you through this connection and through everything in your life. Now, although I do channel many different people, if you would like to make it easier for me to pick up on your energy, be sure to like this video and also double check that you are subscribed because by liking and subscribing, that is a form of energy transfer that allows me to more easily pick up on you and your situation. A spiritual awakening that has gotten very dark or very rocky between you and this person. I am hearing growing together. So I feel that regardless of how long the two of you have known each other in the physical world, you are growing together spiritually. I, for some reason, I'm hearing phases of life. So for some of you, you may actually have been connecting with this person through different phases of life. But for others of you, this could simply speak to the depth between you, regardless of how long you've been connecting by physical earth time, because of course we know time is just a human construct. It doesn't even really exist at the soul level. And regardless of how long you and this soul have been physically connecting, the bond between you really transcends time. Its depth goes so far beyond the physical and this one physical lifetime. But I do feel that you and this person either sparked a spiritual awakening within one another or opened each other's eyes in some really profound way, taking each other to this next level along your spiritual path in this lifetime. And I feel that 
I'm just picking up on someone who has been through a lot of change. I'm hearing that this person feels like they've changed either life paths, careers, friend groups, locations, or simply that I'm hearing shifting identities. This person feels like they've shifted through different versions of themselves, but I hear this person saying, in every version of myself, I would always connect with you. It's kind of reminding me of the Doctor Strange movie where in the most recent movie, he talks about how he would love this woman in every universe. Like that's the one thing all versions of him have in common. I'm not sure how many of you have seen that movie, but it's kind of like that for you and this person. It's like on every timeline, every version of yourself, you would be in love. And again, this is because it runs so much deeper than the skin between the two of you. So, wow, the Envy card reversed. Yeah, there is this feeling of deep contentment when you are in alignment with each other and when you are, I'm hearing, in sync. And yet, I feel that you carry both polarities within your connection, meaning you experience everything together in extremes because... I'm hearing someone say when it's good, it's amazing, but when it's bad, it's awful. And I feel that when you and this person, it's just because of how spiritually and energetically connected you are when it's like, I often compare it to, to really powerful magnets. When they're turned the right direction, they can attract one another extremely intensely. But when one or both gets turned around a different way, they can actually repel one another with equal strength. And I saw the number 701 for someone. There also might be something about the month of July significant for you. And I'm seeing a pearl necklace for some reason. But anyway, I feel like you and this person... The number 20 came out. So you may have met or connected with this person in your early 20s or in your 20s at some points. This also could speak to the fact that you and this person may have connected first in young adulthood and then connected again later in life. But again, regardless of whether that applies for you or not, the one thing that I feel everyone who resonates with this video will have in common is that energetically you are tied to this person in a sense it's like you are entangled you are always going to kind of re-enter each other's lives even if you separate because again regardless of what persona you take on of what timeline you shift to of what you do or how you change yourself you could never be unrecognizable to this person you could identify each other in the dark because you sense each other more than you see each other and with the temple path upright, it's like, yeah, when things are in sync between the two of you, the way you recognize this person is you feel deeply contented. It's like, that's the feeling I get just deep peace, deep contentment, like things are right because I'm with you. And that's how you know, or how you knew this person's soul. I feel like I'm seeing two people talking on the phone. So even if you're on the phone with this person, it's like, just being on the phone with them, it's like you're in your own little world together and everything just feels right in that world. And yet again, I want to channel more into this because there is this grief and sadness I'm getting as well. So I want to pull the traditional traditional tarot card to figure out why there is this grief and sadness in your beautiful soul connection. Where is this grief and sadness coming from here? Okay, the sun card in the reverse position. So right away, this can indicate some kind of a delayed new beginning. I'm hearing a false start. So there could have been a feeling that things between the two of you were moving forward and then somehow someone sabotaged this or it felt like it got pushed ahead again or somehow pushed back again. So I am going to read a little bit here as well. The sun still shines, though it may be temporarily blocked out by the clouds right now. Someone may be feeling left out in the cold by their partner. 
sadness, procrastination, pessimism, lies, failure. A soul is suffering and isn't able to break free. A wake-up call. Interesting. So I feel you will know how some of those words might connect or unlock some piece of your intuition within you and you might know how that resonates for you but i do that word lies really stood out i don't know who that's for but i do feel that for some i'm channeling here there could have been dishonesty in this connection or if not active lies there could have been this sense of not being able to fully trust someone which is so interesting because at the soul level i feel that you fully do know one another at the core at the soul but i feel that when you interact in the 3D world, there could have been this triggering lack of trust on one side or both for some reason here. Also, again, with that word lying, it's almost like someone lying about their feelings or not really being open to being vulnerable. The health card reverse came out here. So for some reason, I'm getting that someone here may have not been taking care of themselves, their health, their physical body, and this could have concerned the other person or they could have had some bad habits or behavior related to their health. And I'm hearing I didn't want to be a caregiver. I don't know who that's for, but there could be someone here that felt frustration because the other person here wasn't, again, caring for their physical vessel, wasn't caring for themselves. And they felt like they couldn't carry all of the weight of that on their own. I don't know who that's for, but you will know who you are. Yeah, the patience card came out here. I feel that <laughs> this is so interesting. It's kind of a complex message, but I feel someone's guide saying, you had a lot of patience in the traditional sense, meaning Patience defines as waiting around for someone to change, kind of sitting in this stagnant energy, suffering through it. But what you are really being guided to is to not have that kind of patience, like the kind of patience society defines for us, but actually to have a divine patience, which divine patience isn't waiting around or sitting in stagnant energy. It is choosing your highest good and moving towards that while trusting with this divine patience that ultimately everything happens in a divine order and is perfectly timed at the cosmic level. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but I feel someone here stopped having this 3D definition of patience, meaning they may have stopped waiting around for this other person. They may have began moving in some other direction, but really that is actually a show of you having true trust in the universe to take care of this situation as you continue to tend to your own energy, to yourself, which is really not only all you can do here, but actually the most powerful thing you can do here to hold space for this person and their growth. Because again, I do feel your souls energetically being really entwined. So by you choosing yourself in this way, Again, even if this other person may become triggered by that in the 3D at times and might look at you as being quote unquote impatient, really this is you having true divine trust and divine patience, allowing you to surrender. That word surrender is coming through really, really strongly. But yeah, with the hostilities card, I feel this could represent a conflict between you and this person leading to a separation, or I'm hearing a back and forth battle within the self. So I want to know how someone feels as though they're battling within the self. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. For some reason, I'm getting two messages from this trust card. One is that there could be some, again, struggling to trust this other person. But at the same time, there could be someone struggling to trust themselves and where they've been guided in life, potentially away from this person in the 3D. For some, it could even be both. You could both have difficulty trusting this other person, but also difficulty trusting yourself. 
Yeah, someone's definitely learning a powerful lesson in self-trust at this time. And another card just flew out here. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgments. But this card was actually reversed, indicating someone could feel imbalanced. So I'm going to read into what could be causing someone to feel imbalanced here. I'm getting for some, this could have to do with this process of integrating your inner divine masculine and inner divine feminine energy, which is a process of integration we most commonly talk about in the context of twin flame connection. But I will be channeling a bit more information on that. However, as I'm shuffling, I first want to share with you that because I'm sensing a lot of twin flame energy from this connection, again, only you can know for sure, but I do feel many of you will connect with this as a twin flame. I did want to share with you my twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal meditation. Now, regardless of whether you are a twin flame on a twin flame path or whether you're dealing with some other form of soulmate connection here. This subliminal will be really powerful for unlocking the frequency of truly unconditional love within you. And this is the most powerful and magnetic frequency on the planet. So this subliminal works by using unconscious affirmations embedded within other meditation sounds, tones, and frequencies to essentially retune each of your seven chakra centers to the frequency of pure unconditional love and in the process this subliminal will uproot and release any negative subconscious or limiting belief patterns that could be preventing you from really being able to hold that frequency now when there's another person in the equation listening to meditating with this subliminal with the intention of clearing the energy between yourself and another person will really powerfully clear out any love blockages between the two of you and assist you in effortlessly connecting more both in communication and in the physical world as well it will really deepen the bond between the two of you because essentially you are magnetizing yourself for that unconditional love so this subliminal comes from my website soundandsoulful.com and as you can see on the screen on this website i have over 100 subliminals for all areas of life so i have subliminals for physical appearance changes for mood shifts like confidence and happiness for anxiety relief for love for manifesting specific things for money business success twin flames and so much more more. So when you create a free trial account on my website, you can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days, and you can even create your own custom private playlist. So the link to this twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal is in the pinned comments and description box under this video. So let's dive back into this balance reverse card and read into potentially what could be unbalanced within you or within this connection. Wow, a masculine awakening, man holding a coin upright. I'm hearing that there's a masculine awakening so quickly here that it's almost like this this forceful, intense energy moving through him that actually is kind of creating this earthquake, so to speak, in his energy field that actually may have created some of this conflict or even potential disconnect in your connection because I'm hearing it's like he's awakening so fast that it's actually left him and therefore left this connection a little bit unbalanced temporarily. So I do want to know how this masculine's awakening has left something unbalanced here. Adjacent possibilities in the upright position. Can I clarify this adjacent possibilities card? Okay, so because of how I feel, for some reason I'm hearing emotionally unbalanced 
acting not like himself there could be a masculine who has gone through this major shift energetically that's affected how he processes emotions or potentially he is processing i'm hearing processing so much unprocessed emotion so there could be a masculine unconsciously bringing to the surface really repressed feelings i'm hearing the word anger so this could be one of those unprocessed emotions for some masculines i'm hearing this may have actually come from childhood or some form of inner child wounds but there could have been a situation where this anger was expressed towards the feminine here or just i'm hearing in general it's like a feminine here saying you became an angry or cold or withdrawn person that i felt i didn't recognize even though i know you at the soul level and i know that you're dealing with these unprocessed emotions but i had to step away for my own good to give you space for your healing to process whatever you need to process here but with adjacent possibilities and walking away i see a feminine here potentially withdrawing, disconnecting, walking away, potentially exploring other options. I'm hearing other timelines or life paths while remaining very on guard in a sense when it comes to this connection with the garden and the gate upright, setting boundaries, protecting her time, protecting her energy, but still missing this masculine very intensely is what I'm getting. And that's where this energy of confusion is coming in. But I feel that what you don't see coming, kind of the hidden truth here is door to romance upright. The number 333 might also be connecting with you because I'm hearing beyond what your conscious mind understands. Doors are opening when it comes to love, even when you're in this kind of longing, grieving energy when it comes to this masculine. So I want to see if I can get more information on what doors are opening in love. What doors are opening in love? Let's see if we can pull a few cards here. Wow, storm warning in the reverse position. Someone might be seeing the number 1010 and also the sun card upright representing a new beginning. It's interesting because we got the sun from the traditional tarot earlier in the reverse position. And now I see something here coming full circle. I'm hearing this storm is temporary. This storm will pass. There is a beautiful new beginning awaiting you. And if you are someone in a very dark time because of how you've been feeling about this connection, what your spirit guides want to reassure you is this will pass. These negative feelings will shift into something else. You are in this process of transformation and a new beginning is on its way into your life so i really hope this message reached to ever needed to hear it today if anything here did connect with you feel free to leave me a comment under the video and let me know also i would love if you could subscribe if you haven't yet join our beautiful community of like-minded conscious creative beings here on youtube the link to the twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal meditation that I mentioned earlier is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. Otherwise, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next reading.